Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the premature ventricular contraction and ventricular escape beats. So the premature ventricular contraction is exactly what it sounds like. It is an early ventricular contraction. So for some reason, like certain medications, illicit drugs like cocaine, uh, ventricular hypoxia, or a ventricular pacemaker, a ventricular pacemaker decides to fire its own impulse, which causes a contraction. So the rate of this uh, PVC, it really it's really dependent on the underlying rhythm that's already there. And the rhythm is irregular, or these are unpredictable, meaning we don't know when they will occur. The P wave in this PVC is absent. There's no PR interval, there's no P to QRS ratio, and the QRS complex is wide and bizarre looking. In fact, it's more wide than 0.11 seconds. Now there may be grouping, meaning that there might be a bunch of PVCs uh, that happen one after the other, but there are no dropped complexes. So if there is a normal beat PVC, normal beat PVC, we say that this is bigeminy. So normal PVC, normal PVC, two, there's bigeminy. Now, if it is normal, normal PVC, normal, normal PVC, we say that it is trigeminy. So, why does the PVC look this way? If there is a positive depolarizing impulse that begins in the ventricle and travels towards our positive two lead, this is a good thing. We say that it is a positive deflection. Now when the ventricle repolarizes, it'll repolarize in an abnormal way and this creates a negative impulse or a negative uh, vector that is traveling towards our positive lead and it will generate a negative deflection. Uh, but the key point here is to remember that PVCs can look all sorts of different ways. But remember that the one thing that they have in common is that they are strange looking wide QRS complexes that are greater than 0.11 seconds. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about ventricular escape beats. So ventricular escape beats are essentially just the ventricles saving the day. They save us from what would otherwise be death. So if for some reason the SA or the AV node does not generate an impulse, the ventricular pacemaker cells, remember they can spontaneously depolarize too, they will reach their phase four threshold potential and they will fire an impulse to activate the electrical system of the heart. Now, the rate of this rhythm, it depends on the other underlying rhythm so it can be variable. But the rhythm itself is regularly irregular, meaning that we can regularly predict when this irregular complex will occur. There are no P waves, no PR interval, no P to QRS ratio, and the QRS will be bizarre and wide looking and irregular, greater than 0.11 seconds. Also, there will be no groups and no drops because the ventricles are simply just doing this because they have to. So an important thing to note here is that there is what is called a non-compensatory pause. This means that the impulse that was generated by the ventricles has reached the SA node and depolarized the SA node. So the SA node's rhythm is all thrown off. The SA node will not fire again in its normal rhythm or P to P interval because it itself has been depolarized. So another pacemaker, in this case the ventricle, will pick up the slack. So a compensatory pause means that the abnormal impulse did not reach the SA node, which means that the SA node is just going to continue to fire at its normal rhythm or its normal P to P interval. This is because the SA node doesn't even know that the ventricular uh, pacemaker has fired an impulse. So why would it change? It's going to continue to contract at its normal P to P interval. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.